What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs Day number 1325 coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one out there. Um, if you drive for any of the apps in the gig economy, such as Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place. Hit that free red subscribe button down below to get started. It's free. Turn on the notification bell to the right, set it to all so you don't miss any future uploads. And if you wouldn't mind it, really helps me out. Hit that like button down below. And let's jump into this. So um, this was sent to me uh, by Jennifer. So everyone say thank you to Jennifer. Um, she contacted DoorDash support uh, in regards to this particular situation. So now please keep in mind before I share what I'm going to share, uh, every market is different. Some markets may still be doing unbelievable and they are because I've been seeing the comments. I've been seeing it on social media. Some people are saying, hey, I'm doing great, making tons of money with DoorDash where others are in this particular situation. So let me know in the chat or the comments if you can relate to this. So Jennifer contacts DoorDash support. It says, why has the peak pay and times been so awful for the last three weeks? Uber is offering amazing peak offers, but I want to only work for DoorDash, which is fine. I can understand that. Some people do not want a multi-app. It's more of a headache. And, you know, think about it. For me, usually I just have to run Grubhub in my market with and, and turn on DoorDash or Uber Eats sparingly when Grubhub is, you know, kind of slow, which it has been recently. It's understandable. A lot of people are doing things. So <clears throat> the DoorDash support responds and says, thanks for reaching out. We've been impacted by restrictions in movement put in place by local off local officials and have paused phone and social media support temporarily. For support, click here, da 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 da. So what's interesting here is that because of a few things, it seems that the peak pay has been an issue. This is not the first time I have heard this recently. Okay, so real quick right now, uh, whether this is being, you're watching this as a premiere or uh, in the comments down below, let me know as of right now, today, when you are watching this, leave a comment letting me know what day of the week you're watching this. Um, and are you experiencing issues with peak pay? Okay, where you're just, it's not being offered to you. Okay, a few things can, you know, put this as, as a reason. If demand is down, if there are not a lot of customers or not as many as usual ordering, peak pay may go away. Because when they are desperate for drivers, they wanna make it as enticing as possible. So they'll charge the customer a little bit more so that the driver can make a little bit more, you know, and maybe encourage people to come out. I remember Grubhub, uh, they, they don't do it as much anymore because now they do the notifications, you know, through the app. But in the earlier days in 2017, 2018, and I think as far as 2019, they were also, uh, what they were doing is sending text messages to drivers as well, saying, listen, we need drivers. There's incentives. You'll get an extra dollar for this order or whatever. But it seems like right now, a lot of dashers are going through kind of like, not really a drought, but a lack of peak pay. That's basically what it comes down to. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, what is the golden rule of the gig economy? I, I think I should have that printed on a shirt. Every market is different. Seriously. Everyone comment that in the chat or the comments. Every market is different. Or in Grubhub's case, it would be every region is different. Because no matter where you are, in the United States or, you know, now DoorDash is going to Japan and other countries and stuff too. So it's getting even crazier, which is, you know, it's understandable. They're a big company. They want to expand. No problem with that. But um, what I'm trying to say here is every market is different because the closer you are to a city, to a metropolitan area, the more the orders are going to be. If you are in a more rural area, out more in a countryside where there's more farmland, bigger open spaces, where there's longer trips, you know, well, maybe longer roads and stuff like that, the orders may be few and far between just for small towns and whatnot. And I know that, that a good percentage of my drivers are in those smaller, uh, less dense uh, markets, you know, but if it's even slow in a city area, that could be one of two things. 
one, there's way too many drivers online grabbing every order and you're just sitting around, or the volume just isn't there, you know, especially what's been going on in the country, you know, mask mandates have been lifted, um, you know, uh, summertime and, and things like that, you know, people want to get out there. They want to physically go to the restaurants as opposed to, you know, because of the pandemic, they were all home and ordering constantly. So basically peak pay is maybe drying up for right now, but it will return. That's just what it comes down to, especially once we get back into the fall, the colder months, etc. So drivers, dashers in the chat, in the comments, let me know down below. Have you been experiencing a lack of peak pay or has everything been as usual? Let me know, because again, every market's different. And uh, for those of you who are brand new to the channel, if this is your first time watching, welcome. Leave a comment in the chat or the comments saying first timer so I can welcome you to the channel properly. But if you've been here before, leave a comment saying before in the chat or the comments so I can welcome you back. And at this moment, everybody, I do want to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash pay to drive. These people give a little something every month uh, to support me in the channel. And my way of saying thank you is doing shout outs uh, in every new video. And uh, you also get a direct line of contact to bypass my email, which is always flooded um, in the Patreon app or on the website. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got Marie Sabo Boutwell, our ultimate driver, 100 bucks per month. We've got Lee Peacock. We got Agus, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, uh, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. If you guys want to sign up, link is in the description down below, pin top, or the pin top comment, see which tier works out best for you. Uh, and if you, of course, if you guys ever want to send me an email, email it to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. And of course, everybody, uh, also in the description, if you are not using the Get Upside Gas app to save money on your gas, you're wasting money every time you go to the gas pump. So all you got to do is download it for free, go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links down below. Make sure to download it, all right? And of course, uh, check out paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. I'm not wearing one in this video, but go check out the design. See if you like something and pick it up. Everything's on sale, great quality, low prices. Paytodrivestore.com, can't beat it. And uh, if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 353. End 353 lets me know you made it to the end, which I'm proud of you. Proud of you, you made it to the end. And subscribe with all notifications on. Turn on the notification bell to the right so you don't miss any future uploads. And let's see if we can get 150 likes on this video or more. Until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on what channel, everybody? Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Have a great one. Take care and we'll see you next time.